Hello, this is Dr. David Oster, and this is a video that I put together that discusses the knee injection technique. Knee injections are used frequently to inject hyaluronins, such as hyalgin, and steroid preparations. So this is the technique that I commonly will use. On the day of your injection, it's important to either wear loose-fitting clothes that can pull up above your knee, shorts, or a skirt, or, if that's not possible, we can provide you with shorts. My medical assistant will have you lay on the examination table and it's important to try to get your knee as relaxed as possible and as straight as possible. This will make the injection easier. At that point, I will come in and evaluate your knee and palpate the landmarks. I'll look at the thigh and feel your kneecap or patella and move it back and forth to make sure that you're relaxed and to be able to feel underneath the kneecap where the injection will be placed. Then I will clean up your knee with betadine or iodine soap or that may be done prior to me coming in the room by my assistant. The injection will be done in the area where the X is. It will be located just on the outside portion of your kneecap just above your kneecap. So this is what it looks like when the knee has been prepped with betadine. The injection that I do is at the upper outer portion of the kneecap and it's done with lidocaine or a numbing agent. This is done to confirm placement within the knee. It's important to get these products within the knee as if they are not, they will be less effective. So here's the lidocaine injection and it's performed at the upper outer portion of the kneecap and again it's done to confirm the placement within the knee. Once this has been placed in the knee, the syringe is removed from the needle and then the active product is injected. And the active product is usually a hyaluronin or a steroid. The needle is then removed and the knee is then cleaned up and then a band-aid is applied. On the injection day, you can resume everyday activities but I would not recommend doing any significant athletic activities. The day after the injection, normal activities may be resumed, so you can res resume all your previous activities that you like to do. With hyaluronins or hyalgin, most people will not notice any improvement until after the second or third injection. If you happen to notice improvement after the first injection, that's a very good sign and would indicate that you're, you will respond favorably to these injections. Improvement from hyaluronins and sometimes with steroids may last for 4 to 12 months. So this is my injection procedure and this was performed by Dr. David Oster. If you have other questions or would like to look at other video, please visit my website davidostermd.com for an evaluation or office appointment. Please call 303-214-4500. Thank you.